I know, but mm. hi. 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 You probably have some kind of like ancestry, and that's why you have. I the... thought you were saying incest. We no. were talking about skin skin color before. Yeah. Yeah. Because Amberlynn her. asked me if she looked yellow. And I do. I do. Always. But hello. <laughs> I'm just waiting for people to come on here. Um, I think I turned on members chat. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Howdy. Hello. Or as people around here say howdy. Can you read that? No. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to get it to where Becky can read it. Also could help if I clean my glasses. Cool. Down. My phone's not working. I hope this isn't awkward for you guys. Like, because we're still, you know. I can't read that. Okay. It's not working for Happy some reason. Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Oh, no. That didn't help at all. That is so cool. Very glad to see you both. Of Hi, course. Courtney. I said both right. It's both. 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 My hair is a mess, you guys. My life is a mess. And, um, thank you, boo. <clears throat> Howdy, punk rockin' mama. And Marie Faith and Ann M. Um, Courtney Tang, Kieran. I mean, hello to everybody. Uh, yes. You said something that I was gonna respond to, and me? Yep. That we're stressed. <laughs> we're stressed. Someone said they like my lip color. It is a sense shine, shine, shine. Wet look lip gloss. And in color 20, strawberry red. Hi, Ev. <clears throat> nice to see you here. Thank you, creep shit. Yes. Oh, man. What did we do today? Whew. We've A lot. Yeah, we're like slowly just going through stuff, selling stuff. Um, can you put the stuff you're selling on Mercari? No, I think it's just, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I think it's just easier to do it through my Instagram and Becky has her ways of doing it. Um, happy to see you in good spirits. Sending love from Oklahoma City. Oh, thank you, Kiva. Sending love. Hello. Hi, Auntie. <clears throat> yeah. Um, start selling everything on a different platform. It's easier for you. Yeah. I mean, Instagram I've even, has worked. You know, I've well. thought about doing Etsy, but it's just like, I don't know, Etsy seems really Everything is just, yeah, it really is. You know, I'm getting rid of the engagement ring. I was thinking about just flushing it down the toilet. I wouldn't oh. blame you. <laughs> hey, at least we didn't break up because I like cheated on you or anything like that. Never. I would never in a million years. I think cheating is just, I mean, of course, you know, you can't help what happened in your past, but if you could choose to not do that to somebody, don't do it. <clears throat> just break up with them. Yeah. My mom threw her wedding ring off, off of a bridge. bridge. That, okay, I think I'm going to do that. Do it. I'll drive you to the bridge. <laughs> welcome, welcome stream queens to Punky. Whoop. To Punky. <laughs> welcome Punky. <laughs> To stream queens. <laughs> said, welcome stream queens to Punky. <laughs> oh, That's funny. I'm just not okay. Me and my fiance broke up two weeks ago. I wish you girls all the best. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorrow. I'm sorrow. Because I was reading their name. I think I'm, right now, I think I'm in shock. And I know once we move, I'm going to just completely fall apart. And I'm honestly afraid for that moment, to be honest. So I'm terrified. I'm scared of the unknown. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also absolutely terrified. Terrified. And like she said, it's still shock. I've cried about it here and there. 
but for the most part, it's just like my brain is not computing, not computing. It's just like all this is happening. So let's put this in a box and close the box for now and take care, care of everything that's still happening in life, you know? Yeah. So. Well, at least you're excited, you said. That's a little well, crazy sounding. It's because I'm excited to start <sighs> taking care of myself. You know, I want to go to the doctor, get my skin condition under. But you could do all that now. And Berlin with us together. You can't go to the doctor with us I'm together? I'm talking about taking care of my diabetes, my weight, you with your weight, your issues. We're standing in each know. other's way. I don't I Okay. <laughs> we are. We've been together for four years and how many people are telling me, you know, I'm an enabler for allowing you to do what you do. Yeah. And it's like... I just hate that word. It's true. Because I can't say no. Can't say no. Me neither. Thank you, Beth Snyder. I appreciate that so much. You're seriously so kind. Midwest Moxie, welcome to Stream Queens. Marissa, welcome to Stream Queens. Yeah, I guess some people just take care of themselves better when they're not in a relationship. <clears throat> it sounds insane. But it's a thing. Yeah. I don't know why. People just get too comfortable and they stop caring about the rash on their arm. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I was. I had more things to say. No, I know, but. But it's just like the newest thing that's popped up. It's not a rash. It's a skin condition. I get these like. Like that was. See that one? That was itching so bad the other day. Yeah. Um. Somebody told me it's. um. I don't know if it was eczema or they said something else. Right. Uh, a lot of people get it on their scalp. What is that called? This is random, but you know what I feel like kind of? Sorry. I Dermatitis. I just like interrupted you completely, I'm but I, my mind was just thinking about it. You know how when people like say they get in a car wreck and their arm gets chopped off, but they feel no pain because they're in shock. That's like how it feels. Yeah. Until they realize and their adrenaline's gone. They're like, oh crap. That just happened. You know? Yeah. And I feel like our, oh crap, that just happened is going to come the minute We say goodbye. <clears throat> it's going to be hard when we have to say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Situation type deal. I do have a dermatologist. It's just I haven't been to her since they cut a scary mole off my back. Welcome, Bridget Holder, to Stream Queens. Vaseline on the factory. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Natalian. I, that's something I can definitely try. I do have Cetaphil, but I don't know. I don't like the way it feels. It's, it makes my skin What's feel my like it's got a film on it or something. Like, not just lotion, where it'll actually soak into your arm. I don't know. It just, it just feels greasy and weird. We don't have answers to everything, but someone just asked, who's keeping the car? Becky is going to be keeping the car. Because that just makes the most sense. She drives. <laughs> so, she'll be keeping that. Oh, thank you, Ev. He says that he's got it, too. Yes, please send me some products on Instagram. I'll definitely check those out. Um, to anyone who's messaged me, I'm trying to catch up. There, uh, There's so much. There's so many. So, sorry if I haven't responded. I will get there. Um, remember everything always happens for a reason and I hope this experience makes you stronger, happier, and healthier as individuals in the long, in the long run. Thank you. I don't know. I know it could go one or two ways, you know, bad or good. Welcome to stream Queens, Julia. Oh my gosh, Amber, I love you. But remember when you used Cetaphil face wash as moisturizer? It was so funny. Her fault. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because we didn't realize there was a moisturizer. Hold on. Pause. Mar Marissa, stop. Or a face wash. We didn't Courtney. realize. We didn't realize. Courtney Tay. What is wrong? It is not kind of good, kind of bad artist parody. Don't do the parody. Take the parody off. Oh. So my, uh, that person said that that's my Instagram. Oh, damn. You freaked out, bro. Well, yeah, because I don't want them to go there. That yeah. This is garbage. Um. Hey, Transit rat here <laughs> tell her to kick rocks now you're not gonna heal till she's gone come visit santa rosa now that you're not banned, banned from cali wait you're not banned from cali yeah i don't know what that means but um no this is so much easier for me and for us she always she already told me she said that she feels it would be easier on her and myself than for us to just be like oh we're broke up peace like is like why would we do that? Yeah. <sighs> There's just no reason for it. Thank you, lazy days. And yes, Courtney, I just had to let you know I did freak out. I was just like, I don't want you to see that. <sighs> and it's just like, you know, for some people when it comes to a breakup, it is way easier to just you know go your separate ways as soon as you can but i feel like we don't need to do that because it didn't end horribly mm -hmm. yeah i don't even think there was fighting there wasn't any fighting there was no fighting it was just sad yeah. finish that moisturizer story okay hold on Hey, Amber, I've been watching you since 2016. I'm turning 25 on Monday. Any advice feeling like I'm getting old? Ha ha. Thank you for the super chat. Um, all I can say is enjoy the 20s because now that I'm 30, I feel like I am it's the oldest ever. Like, I just feel so old. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to tell you something right now. If I could go back to my 20s, my tw 25, okay? I wouldn't work at where I worked. I'd go find another job because I think that's where my knee problems started. I used to not have knee problems and then I started working there and now I have knee problems. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no bueno. No. Factory work is really hard on your body, y'all. Kimberly, welcome to Stream Queens. Finish the moisturizer story. Okay. So, Becky told me to get, it's called Cetaphil, right? Yeah. And moisturizer. That's, that's what and I was like, oh, what is that? Okay. And we were going down the aisle and she goes, oh, there it is. I just picked it up and that was that. And Becky didn't realize that there was a face, face wash of Cetaphil. So, she automatically thought it was moisturizer. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. So I use it as moist, used it as moisturizer, and I'm telling you right now, felt great, felt wonderful. So yeah, and I've used conditioner for my face, felt great, felt wonderful. So it is what it is. <laughs> it was sort of pretty much my fault for getting you the wrong stuff, but the you also didn't read it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You didn't read it, so. So that happened. <laughs> Victoria Puppy Puddle said I should work at Spirit of Halloween this season. I would love to work there, but I feel like I would want to spend my entire paycheck there. <laughs> rot, rot, rot. Because, you know, it's more than just costumes, they got all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. We'll see. Mm. Did you use hair product as a moisturizer? Too? Love you too, Gabby. Yeah, I already answered all that. You're behind. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lazy Days. And Ev said he wor uh, worked at a cell phone case production in Los Angeles. I bet like that was a hot job, wasn't it? Because I worked in a wood factory. It was scorching in there. In the winter times, it was absolutely freezing. I'm looking rough. I have no eyebrows. 
I'm yellow. I have dark around my eyes. I'm stressed. I'm fat. I'm bloated. Like, what is going on? Dove conditioner can be used as a moisturizer for dermatitis. Hmm. Huh. Welcome, Alexandra, to Stream Queens and Situation Type Dill. Yes, I will be doing some pre recorded videos. Lip color matches your top. I didn't even notice. Do you have a good plan on taking care of Twinkie's needs? Sending love to you both. Thank you, Monica. And yes, I take care of Twinkie. Um, that's the part that I understand people are concerned because they see me and I'm fat and like common sense would be a f someone this size can't take care of their animals. It's not true. I put them before me, above me. They're my everything. So yeah. Um, try to see this ending as the beginning of something positive, although it can be hard to see right now. Yeah, I don't see it as anything positive at all. That's just where I'm at right now. Thank you for the super chat. Um, how do I become a member? Is there a link? Thank you for the super chat as well. There should be a, um, join button. If you don't see it, you can do it from Safari. I'm pretty sure. Or like google chrome or something like that and i think you just go to my page um for some reason it just doesn't show up for some people i don't really know why so someone said you need to go to my page from a computer whoa i think becky will do so much better for her health on her own she's an amazing woman i wish you both the best of luck thank, thank you, you. i wish she just would have done it with me like me too. Things happen though. But you are a weakness for me and I'm a weakness for you because if, you know, I'm trying to do better and not eat sweets and stuff, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, let's get an ice cream and I can't say no. And then it's like, you know, if you're doing Jenny Craig or, you know, something like that, you're over there trying to eat diet food and I'm over there eating a freaking Totino pizza. Yeah, we, we... We both don't, we support each other in everything and anything, but when it comes to that, we just obviously don't know how to support each other. We literally made this whole plan that for her, we were going to start out and let her walk to the mailbox and back every day, and we never did it. No. Still can. With everything I've been doing this last week, yeah, do you see how I've already built up my stamina? Isn't you that have. the weirdest thing? You really have. The body is amazing, but it's fucking annoying too. Like, yeah, I've already built up my stamina just in like the last five days. Like, it's so crazy. Like how the more you do something, like, it's just so weird to me. <laughs> like, it's pretty awesome too. Um, Thank you, Kimberly, for the mm -hmm. super chat. Thank you, Kimberly Sparks Baker. Um, Amberlynn, you're way out of Becky's league. <laughs> Always have been. That's a lie, but thank you, James. Amberlynn is beyond me. No. Have, yes, you have No, been. no, no. Have not you seen like the this. people I dated? Not like this. I'm looking. Mm -mm. Becky is one of a kind. Listen, this one over here. Oh, I've made out with this person and that person and this person. Back in the day. Why do you always do this? Oh, Becky, whenever you were talking to me, I had people lined up to talk to I've, get with me. Listen, I've you, never you, said that. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I didn't get anybody to notice me until I was 17 year old, 17, oh geez, 17 years old in school. And it was because me and him were both failing a class and had to go to like fall break academy. And that's how we met. Right. Um, Michaela. Hello, Michaela. Welcome to Stream Queens. Who's Elizabeth? Who is Elizabeth? Who's Elizabeth? Oh, somebody's probably talking about my old playlist on YouTube. I had this obsession with Elizabeth Bathory at one point. Who's that? Was that a celebrity? No. She was a horrible person. <laughs> a queen back in the day in Scotland. I just liked the whole idea of her like being a vampire and stuff. And I was just like, oh. I was going to write this whole story. And I had all these songs planned out. And it just never happened. Thank you for replying to my IG message today. You guys are both amazing. I wish you both nothing but the best. Much love to you. Thank you so much, Sarah. <sighs> Do I look jaundice? 
Or is just just my skin color all it's of a sudden? It's just your skin color. I've been telling you that. The you way look, Amber stares. <laughs> look fine. Countess. Okay, Amber. Marissa's a troll. Okay, I love that. Michaela, I'm doing fine. Vampires, Victoria Puppy Puddles. That's a cute name. Amber Lynn could stare daggers into hmm. Satan himself. I need more sunshine. Could that help? Yes, it definitely could. No, I definitely need to see a doctor about it. For sure. Hi, Sarah B. Corners of my mouth. I noticed that with a lot of people, though, like the yellow challenge to see like how yellow your teeth are. Some people like have it really bad right here. I'm vitamin D. Ooh, I'm Obvious. very low in vitamin D. Very low. So should I take vitamin D? Okay, wait, hold Hold on, hold on. Um, hi, Amber Lynn. Please say hi, Lucy. I love you so much. Hi, Lucy, and thank you so much for the super chat. As a supporter, I can't imagine not seeing you two together, so I can only imagine how you both are feeling. Love you and healing to you both. Thank you so much, Beth. And here's hi. another here, here's another thing. If y'all are so worried about Winky, uh, Winky, Twinkie getting walked and blah, 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 it's just like can't, you can also hire people to do that, you know? Yes, but the thing is... I would do anything for Twinkie. So it's like, will I build my stamina for myself? No. Will I build it for my child? Yes. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's another thing, Amberlynn. You won't do it for yourself. And that's I know. another thing. Me and you know. have to work on self-love. Because I've spent my entire life absolutely hating myself. Yeah, me too. Hating how I look, how I sound. Yeah. You know, and I always was the first one to beat myself up so nobody else could do it. Right. Literally, you took the words right out of my mouth. Um, sorry, I get so behind you guys. Elizabeth is, this, Elizabeth is the inspiration for Bloody Mary. <clears throat> she bathed in the blood of young girls thinking it'd make her young forever. Yes. She would have Becky. girls come. She would have the girls come brought to her and then she would I don't know if they would kill if uh, her guards would kill them or if she would kill them and then she would pour all of their I'm blood leaving. into a bathtub and then she'd bathe in I'm glad we're broken up you want to know what <laughs> just kidding um, <sighs> what's her name Madame Lalari or something who Kathy Bates was in um, Coven she was a real woman and she tortured her slaves and kept them up in the attic she did unspeakable things gross the only reason she got found out is because her building kept caught on fire but um she also would put blood on herself that's disgusting and horrible and gross welcome mia to stream queens welcome nicole to stream queens why don't you try to lose weight as a team we have we've tried we sabotage each other elizabeth banderia who's that Who's Elizabeth Banderia, Becky? That's Hannah and Reed's friend, Bev. Oh! Why are they asking about her? I don't know. That's our friend. I did. I always called her Beth. She's Beth. <laughs> I literally, I was her neighbor <clears throat> whenever I was dating this one girl, Sarah. Me and her didn't know each other at the time, but I knew of her. I've seen her. But she's really, really, really good friends with Hannah and Reed. I've never actually talked to her in person. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, Jillian or Gillian, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but welcome to Stream Queens. Sometimes people need to break free and grow for themselves. And if the love is meant to be, you'll be brought back together stronger, better people. Thank you, Bella. That's very true. Who's Scarlett? It seems Becky has a new girl already. Oh, it's so funny. Scarlett? I love that name. Don't be selfish, Amber. You act like Becky disobeyed you by breaking up with you. You don't, owe, you don't own Becky. Let her live her life and prove it. Huh? <laughs> I never said that. Okay. Um, no, you're not out of Becky's league. Everyone talking about your breakup is saying Becky can do better. I know she won't agree, but it's true. I've always told Becky she could do better than me from day one. From day one. 
No hate, but can we hear your proposal story now? Honestly, no. <laughs> that. That'd be too hard. That's, yeah, absolutely not. That's too hard. I've been through a broken engagement with someone I had been with for seven years. I know how it feels to literally feel like your, your heart break. I honestly look back now and cringe Pause. that I was ever with my ex-fiance. I'm sorry. Scarlett Blevins. Welcome to Scream Queens. That's familiar. I went to a school with the Scarlett Blevins. Oh, wow. So it's either really her or somebody's trying to... Troll a crap. lot. Yeah. Because they went through my friends list or something in my old Facebook. I don't know. Carol M., thank you so much for the super chat. And I just want to say, um, I'm glad that you're cringing. Because <laughs> in a sense, like... It's sad that you kind of like wasted seven years. Like sometimes I look at that too with a certain past relationship and, but it's good that you're, you're not like still having a broken heart over that. That's what I'm worried about. Like but just having a broken heart for the rest of my life. <laughs> Cause that's the, that's not going to happen. You didn't think you'd get over destiny. Fuck her. <laughs> um, welcome Frankie to stream Queens. Welcome Scarlett. I'm sad about this breakup. I feel like I've been broken up with. <laughs> it's admirable how mature you both are handling this, though, for real. Yeah, it's hard. Um, thank you for the super chat. I think it's just like a numb feeling right now because we're still living together and doing things together, like playing games and just living like we always have, minus the relationship, you know? So, <sighs> yeah. Fuck Destiny. She doesn't knit little. She doesn't literally. No. Know what fuck no, 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 no. I was joking. Her and Destiny actually talked the other day, didn't you? Mm -hmm. She was planning on coming over on Wednesday, but I had to cancel because I got busy. I know Victoria. She said they want to go through all your social media with a fine tooth comb to bully. Yes, yes, they do. Yeah. See, what did I tell you? Scarlet Brett Blevins. We're having a passionate affair, Becky. Do not deny my love. I will show you who this person is. Becky, you don't have to prove anything to well, me. Well, okay. I was just like, I trust you, know, you. And everybody else. But it doesn't matter because we're I would single. do something like that. I, I don't. A big reason also why we have broken up is because I want to be single for a long time. A long, long, long time. I cannot do romantic relationship right now mm -hmm. and it's like whenever i first got with amberlynn i'm not gonna lie i wasn't the nicest i ignored her a lot yeah this is stuff we didn't talk about um, i would make excuses not to talk to her and it's like i have no idea why you held on and i'm glad you did because i finally was able to open up I was afraid. I was extremely hurt, broken. Eric and Ricky almost gave up on me because I just put their, them through some crap. Like one night, they were trying to carry me to the bedroom. I was drunk. And I was like, you don't love me. You don't care about me. And then they accidentally let go of me. And I busted my face on the floor. And I was laughing and bleeding everywhere. And then they put me into bed. And then they went and got in bed. And then I got out of bed to go pee. And I broke my side table by falling on it. And then I landed in the floor. And then I peed in the floor. And then I fell asleep in the pee. Eric and Ricky didn't know I peed. So they put a blanket on me. And there was pee on the blanket. And when I, I woke up the next day, I held a pay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I happened to see this while Amberlynn damaged you that bad. No. I think the thing here that she's trying to say, I don't want to speak for her, but from what I see as an outside perspective is who she was when we first met, when it comes to like relationships and like being blocked off and stuff, she hasn't grown from that for a minute. It felt like she was in our relationship, but then she just backpedaled. So it's been stagnant for her. Like I didn't damage her, make her worse or anything like that. It's just been stuff I've been holding in that I need to work on that I never worked on. Exactly. I just shoved it away and pretend like it didn't exist. Yeah. 
Let me just use this so I can catch up on some people's yeah. things because I feel a little bit behind. I didn't. Um, if Amberlynn's blood goes missing, we know who's bathing in it. Love that. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny, for the super chat. What do I... Wait, am I, like, way behind? That's way back there. Wait, okay. You've already read all that. Okay. What do you think about Life by Jen thinking of reacting to your videos? I think that's crazy. Why would she do that? I don't know. Because I feel like... <sighs> I don't want to talk badly about her because, like, I see she's going through it. Whether she wants to admit it or not, like, I see it, like we're a lot alike in certain ways um and i think that she just doesn't want to be on the bad side of the reaction channels so she wants to join them that's what it is mm, yeah that makes sense um angela said hugs once you both get to the point of self-love you're happy with will you try a relationship together again there's no answer for that absolutely not right there's just yeah, no know. answer for that. That one up there, I swear. Which one? That one. This person. Oh, I just skipped that. Well, yeah. You have an amazing platform that will continue to grow, Amberlynn. Don't let Becky try and leverage it to grow her following. James, it's not like that. It's not like that. I'm not trying to do anything. Becky, I love your spirit box shirt. Oh, do you know what that is? Do you guys know what spirit box is? Spirit Box is good. It's, okay, the lead singer Spirit Box used to be the lead singer of I Wrestled a Bear once, which they broke up. But then she had replaced uh, Krista. And she was the original lead, uh, lead singer of I Wrestled a Bear once. But Courtney was also a uh, lead singer of Unicron, too. I liked Unicron, but they're not widely known. Say hi, Kiana. Hello, Kiana. Hi, Kiana. Um, thank you, Des B. I love you, too. What is my type? Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Lucifer Tea Party. I don't have a type. Which is crazy, right? If I were to take a look at your celebrity crushes, you kind of do. Girly. No. Mm. <laughs> you two yeah. should play truth or drink for the next live stream. That would be insanity. That would be insanity. Because with that, but I feel like, like you have to be brutally honest. But if you do not want to answer the question, you, you have drink. to take a drink. Yeah. I don't know about that. But My I, liver says no. But here's here's the thing. I can't think of anything I don't I wouldn't want to answer. Besides, like, extremely private stuff. Yeah. No, I probably would not do any meet and greets, especially because COVID. We love you too, Lou. My boyfriend and I broke up in January Thank because you, we enabled each other and gained a lot. We got back together after focusing on ourselves. I wish you both luck. That's good, Brittany. I'm happy that you guys were able to do that. Yeah. Some people just can't. You're going to live by yourself, AL. Twinkie needs to be walked daily, and I'd be worried to see you alone at your size. No hate. Wish you both the best. They must have just popped in before, after we <sighs> talked about that. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about the living situation yet. I'm just going to wait um, a little bit more. I'm just going to wait a little bit more to talk about that. Welcome to Stream Queens, Jordan. Um... Skipping some, like the small one. Well, I know, but there's. You want me to reply to every single one of those? No. We would be. We wouldn't ever catch up. I know. <laughs> I just don't want nobody to feel like ignored. I know. I try. My ex-husband left me, and I almost took my life. I cringe now too. I meet the love of my life because he left. I see my husband now and realize why it didn't work out. All the cliches are true. Wow, I'm sorry you went through that though. Dandelions, revenge. That makes me sad. Yeah. Um, Scarlet is just like, woo, 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 spamming really hard. About what? Um, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. Uh. Becky, we have the same music taste. Glad. 
that you do because most of everybody that I'm surrounded with tells me that my music tastes, well, some of my music taste is weird. My music taste is very large. I don't say that. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about my friends and my sisters and like literally the other day, one of my sisters was in the car with me and I was listening to my music and she just grabs my phone and goes to Spotify and <laughs> changes it to some blue cone song. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah, I'm just like, I don't listen to this. Is Becky considering starting a channel? I really hope so. I would love to watch it from the outside, you know? I'm still going to do the video you with better. the scary stories. You better. I'm wanting to do that soon. If you do end up playing Truth or Drink, you should let your members submit questions. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> no. Probably would have to, to be honest. Um, when you move to... California, no reason to stay in Kentucky. Thank you for the super chat. And everyone else, thank you for the super chats. Um, I don't really want to talk about um, that yet because I just want to wait a little bit longer, ponder on it a little bit longer, get used to the idea of, I think, what I'm going to be choosing, what I'm going to do a little bit longer and stuff like that. Plot twist. Becky left to go be with Destiny. I did. <laughs> ah! Dusting and thumb forever. Oh my god, I can't. Dusty. That's a dusty thumb over there. It's a dusty thumb over there. Welcome to Stream Queens, Arissa. I've left some mean comments in the past, but just want to say I'm sincerely sorry. I wish you the best, Amber. Thank you so much, Jordan. Becky, what does your hat look like? Oh, it's a Vans hat. I got this last year when your mom first came. Do you remember that? No, I remember her coming, but I don't remember you buying that. Yeah. Um, hi, Amber. Will you be getting a dog walker and a card taker for your household and personal needs when Becky is gone? Wishing both. No, I can take care of myself. Like, I understand a lot of you care about me, but you guys have to realize that it's almost insulting for you guys to think that I can't take care of myself. Am I slower than the average Joe? Yes. Will it take me triple the amount of time to clean my chicken? And chicken. <laughs> kitchen. Are you okay? I have to say kitchen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, chicken. <laughs> clean your chicken. Yes, it'll take me triple the amount of time to, to clean, clean my... <laughs> my kitchen, you know? But it will get done. And that's just a metaphor, but it's also the truth. Um, I can take care of myself. I just, it's insulting how many people have said that to me. Like, I don't understand. It's just insulting. I can't wait to go on a date with Becky and we invite you, Amberlynn. Love it. That was from Scarlett. Mm. Um, how do you feel about what's going on with Chantel? I feel, of course, sad for her, and I care about her so much, and I really hope that she can figure it all out, and I hope that she realizes that there is help and that she has a lot of people who care about her. Including this one. <sighs> yeah. Becky, I think you just need a long vacation. <laughs> I need a long vacation and a hole. Have what you never you heard somebody again? just say, like, I just want to dig a hole somewhere and stay there for a little while oh. and then come back out. Right. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, she's great with her decision. She's just thriving. I'm not, Amberlynn. This is hard on me, too. I'm just trying Friends to... Friends forever. Right. Just, you know. Forever. Forever. I almost went just out of habit. We did hold uh -oh. hands the other night. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! No. <laughs> yeah, we did. We held hands the other night. Just... Talking. People probably look at us and they're confused. They're like, what is going on? It's called healthy breakups mm -hmm. in our own way. Um, totally should do a meet and greet after pandemic. I don't think so. I don't know if there's ever going to be an after pandemic, to be honest. It's just every time you turn around, there's a new strain popping up somewhere. Yeah. And it's being devastating. Thanks, Orange Chicken, for always being here for me. 
It's like my parents are getting divorced. Oh. I know what that's like. 32 years of marriage, and then they finally end it. Yeah. Will you be scared to sleep alone due to sleep apnea? I was never tested for sleep apnea. So, no, that's not why I'll be scared to sleep alone. She's just scared to sleep alone. Yeah. Um, Becky, is it? there any chance to work things out? Please don't talk for her ALR. Just let Becky answer this. <laughs> I want to say one thing. <laughs> Last stream, people were praising Becky, weren't they? They were like, Becky's talking for both her and Amber Lynn, and I love it. And Amber Lynn is just sitting there. But then when I do it... People get What's mad at face? me. People What's get mad at me. Face? I was, last stream, I didn't say much because I was too busy crying. Trying to keep it together. And, because it was still new, and it's still new, but I've hit a point where I am completely numb right now. Because I'm shocked. And I'm in shock. In shock. <laughs> so Becky was explaining everything because, you know... She was able to hold it together a little bit better than me. But there you go. Answer the question. <laughs> well, was it? I forgot. <laughs> Will you, um, is there any chance to work things out? And personally, I don't want you to answer that question. Just because I don't want to know the answer. Okay. No answer. So, if you want to answer that privately, even though that's no one's business, really, mm -hmm. you can. But I don't want to know the answer. I don't. Because... It can go one of two ways. I'll either have false hope or my heart that. will break even more. So it's like... I don't want either. There's certain things we'll answer and certain things we won't. Do you respect that I don't want to know that? Yes. Okay. Sorry for that, you guys. <laughs> Why do you have to be sorry? Because I feel bad. I just didn't want to know. Elle, let's not act as if you haven't mistreated Becky. We both mistreated each other. I've never yes. denied, but there's never been like abuse or anything like that. So I don't want people to think some scandals over here because there's not. We just have issues with compromising and a lot decision making. And, and Becky, never mind. <laughs> I'm not good I at compromising. Just, I almost just said <laughs> I'm not good at compromising. She's a good. If you're gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Manip <laughs> her too. She's good at manip her manip too. Manip 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 no, okay. Um, let's see. People who are worried about Twinkie obviously don't know you well. You have always gone above and beyond for her. Exactly. And, you know, I'm not like perfect by no means, but she comes way before I do. And I make sure all my pets are well taken care of and you know, Ooh. we've been together for over four years. You have to realize that we've adapted to having certain roles in our relationship in all aspects. So it's like now we have to kind of like we're still living together. So the roles are very similar to what they've always been. Yeah. But then we have to slowly adapt to, okay, now it's my turn to take on that role. Now it's your turn to take on that role. And, like, things just become, you know, different. Oh, sorry, everyone. Sorry if I made you feel bad. I don't see you as a side, but as a size, but as a person. Honestly, just care about you and hope you do well, both of you. Thank you. Trust me, I am very uh, anxious about the whole thing. And I just feel like questions about, you know... Are you going to be okay living alone at that size? It just makes me more fearful for the future instead of like trying to be as positive as possible. It starts to scare me really bad. But here's my thought. Maybe that's going to be what's going to push you to stick with something. Yeah. Now I'm starting to get emotional. Why can't we play trivia or something? Because there's a lot of questions, so we're just going through them. I know, but most of the questions getting asked, we can't answer right now. Becky, I'm interested in a commission. I want a drawing of Beavis and Butthead. I DM'd you on Insta. Okay. 
Who who is that? What's their name? Oh, their name on here is Marissa. Okay. Did you consider couples therapy before you guys came to this decision? No. No. But I I would have done it, obviously. Are you going to get your driver's license now? No, I'm not. I'm not. Thank God for the good old Uber. Uber. Can you answer me this? If you lose the weight and get down to a size where you can do things, mm -hmm. would you? What do you mean by do things, though, first of all? Like, like walk in a store for 500 hours? I'm talking about driving. I could drive now. Could I? Yeah, I think I could. <laughs> oh, you the haters it. are going to love. It's because, Amberlynn, I'm thinking in my head, have you ever drove a car? Yeah, when I was with Crystal, I did. How'd I go? I fit just fine. I'm not talking about size. Oh, what are you at? Oh, I thought you were talking about size this whole time. No. Oh! I'm talking about can you I thought drive you were, a car? I thought you were calling me fat this whole time. You know me better than that. <laughs> this whole time! Okay. Lord. Um, no, I can't drive a car because of my anxiety. Exactly. Yeah. Which I've been telling you to get that worked on too. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> can you do outfits of the days? Like in videos? Yes. Ugh. Why am um, I so yawning? Amberlynn, you should... You ain't getting enough oxygen to your brain. Amberlynn, you should... You should Amberlynn, you should do the dating game Zoom style to find some contestants for future Miss Reed. That'd be interesting. But I, I don't do that for a long time. Because I don't think you're ready for a real, another relationship. Oh, Becky said that if I got with someone, she'd be jealous. Yeah, because I'm not breaking up with you because I don't love you. Oh, what a sweet little rude beat. Oh. Beat. Oh, I can call you. you. I can call you names that I call my friends now. Like what? What's up, bitch whore? <laughs> I'm just going to call you a bit. A bit? Bit. That's cute. You big old bit. Big old? That's what me and Eric and Ricky say to each other. Do you remember in Vlogmas? You big old bit. We had the camera up. And I said, are you calling me fat? People thought I was serious. People will take you too serious. You really think that someone my size would be getting mad about that? No. No. That's my middle no. name. Fat. Bruno said thinking of y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bruno. Are you still sleeping in the same bed? Okay, situation is. We haven't been. We've been sleeping in the living room because, like, being in the bed, that's an intimate place. But we have decided, since our bed's really big, we might start sleeping in there together as friends. You know, the bed is really big, so there is a big space in between us. You There's know, Twinkie. Touching. Twinkie's there. You know... I think we'll if be okay. We can try it. And if it's weird. Then we won't do it. We have another bed. Yeah. But it's but just, just fun. Really like that bed. <laughs> yeah. And plus it's just nice to sleep with. <laughs> but you're getting. Someone. You're getting the good bed. So. Well yeah. Because. Who paid for it? You did. And who paid for the small bed? Who picked it out? Who paid for the small bed? I did. <laughs> and who paid for the bed? bed, bed, bed. Yeah. Sh we have two beds. One of the beds Becky bought way before she knew me. Way before. Like a month. <laughs> no, I bought it in 2016. No, Becky, you did not. Because when we first started talking, you said, I just got a bed delivered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, because then the person that I was dating the summer before, that only lasted like a month and a half because I broke The off. one that talks to her dead cat? Yeah. Yeah. Um, She's Graham. I didn't have that bed then. And something made me think that I did. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Welcome, Gary, to Stream Queens. Oh. Um, I have a column in a magazine. I'd love for you to share your story. 
I have similar struggles. I think it'll help you and others. P.S. Becky is amazing. Thank you. Um, Shannon, thank you for the super chat. Uh, super chat. That sounded like a fake word for a minute. Super chat. Because I've been talking so long. Um, sharing my story. I don't know what that entails. Um, but maybe. <sighs> okay. Question for Becky. Referring to you being non-binary, do you feel more comfortable being called beautiful or handsome? Both. There we go. Here's my thing. If I'm out in public and somebody looks at me and they're like, they address me as sir by accident and they're just like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not offended. That's fine. You want to call me ma'am? Okay. Cool. Do it. Handsome. Beautiful. Do it. Situation type deal says, I want to see Twinkie. She's currently sleeping. She is. She's up. She over here. Hi, Amber. When you say you're fearful of being on your own due to your size, what exactly is that fear that worries you? Um. My freaking hat's getting on my nerves. Heart attacks. Strokes. What if I fall? In the shower. <laughs> That's why you need to get those grippy things on the shower so you don't fall. And maybe you get, like, if you need one of those handles you can install those wrong um i bet your neighbors will be glad when you move i don't think so they're really nice yeah um i talk i talk to two of them sometimes I'm trying to get comfortable. i'm loving how open and honest you two are being thank you shannon we're trying <laughs> Oh my gosh, Amber, get your license and vlog it. That'd be awesome to see you teach, to reach that goal. What do you say? I don't know. I have too much anxiety. Um, I need a haircut. The subtle shade between you two is so uncomfortable. There's no shade. Me and Amber wouldn't poke at each other. Mm -hmm. Or are you throwing shade? Are you throwing shade at me? No. No? <laughs> you are delusional thinking it's healthy to keep sleeping together. I slept with Crystal for months after we broke up. I slept with Destiny for a couple weeks after we broke up. It didn't affect me. The only way it did affect me was in a positive way. I don't want to just lose my friend in that comfort i don't like sleeping alone like it is what it is and becky it's, it's not like i'm holding her hostage telling her come sleep in the bed with me clearly she wants to as well but not in a weird way i don't see the big issue you're just going to sleep. yeah like i would and sleep in the same big enough for like four people yeah i would sleep in the same bed with eric and ricky or like hannah and rafe like it's i have slept in the same bed with eric and ricky and hannah and rafe yeah do I have a favorite pasta shape? So it depends on what I'm making. There's this like macaroni corn thing that I make. Mm, that sounds so good. Not macaroni and cheese, but the macaroni shape. Yeah, and I made it for noodle elbow. Yeah. And I made it for Becky one time. Like you cook the corn like in a pan and you like saute it and you like put seasoning. Um, I know a lot of people just like warm up their corn. Like, no, you have to like cook it real good. And you mix it, and she really liked it. Um, the other it one I really delish. like, yeah. The other one I really like is bow ties because the texture. I like crotini. The spring looking one. The what? Yeah, those are good for, it's like everything, every pasta has a situation. <laughs> I felt tempted because your hat looked like it was bubbling. Um... The rotini one you're talking about and angel hair. Angel I picture hair. pesto. I picture pesto with those two things. Um, when it comes to bow ties, I picture like a taco pasta, which I've made before. It's like a taco Mexican pasta. That's what I picture for that. That's good too. Yeah. And I am starting to absolutely love fettuccine Alfredo, but it's like, there's only two places where I've had it where I'm like, that's bomb. That's Fazoli's 
and Olive Garden. So, Aaron said, hey girl, just joined. What did I miss? A lot. A bunch of rambling. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, please go to couples therapy. You both seem so happy in each other's company. Sometimes it's worth fighting for. Love you guys. I don't think it's like that. Becky's one and done. Yeah. It's, it's nothing personal at all. It's just I have to take care of myself. I have to work on myself, and so do you. The whole thing with you not caring about yourself, that's hard. You know? Because mm -hmm. I don't want you to not care about yourself. And it's no. like, I'm trying to start to care about myself. Yeah. <sighs> Becky, baby girl, you ain't got to sleep in the same bed with Amber. You got legs. You can just get up and walk away. What's Amber going to do? Chase you down? Well, no. Like I literally just said a minute ago, I said if we try it and it's too hard or weird, then there's another bed. It's just this one. Yeah. She doesn't like being a alone in the same room but that is something like to sleep but that is something you are gonna have to work on yeah but not yet no what you want me to work on it now no there we go there's your answer i'm just saying <laughs> i want you to work on it soon so whenever that time comes it won't be so hard what? I'm just kidding. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, are you doing Vlogmas? I hope so. You guys still seem so in love. Couples counseling really isn't a bad idea. People don't usually propose, break it off, then stay friends. Y'all are clearly still in love with, clearly still in love with love and peace. It's usually with peace and love, so I was all kinds of confused. With love and peace. Um, I do. I love Becky very, very much. I love you too. Very much. It's just, I don't think this is what we need anymore. And Amberlynn, you know, another thing is, you know, she doesn't want to be in Kentucky forever. She rags on this place every chance she it's gets. It's not that though, but it's like. I'm not leaving. I notice something. I move for people. I I am never going to be in the place I want to be. And that's just being honest. That's why next time, whenever you're in a relationship, don't move for them. I moved. Becky. I moved for Nina. Hold on. I moved for Nina, and I swear I will never do it again. What are you doing? I, I want to say something to Becky. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I had to say something because I think Becky got confused. <laughs> yeah. But here's With the, the whole moving thing. Here, here's the thing, though. It's just I moved for Nina, and it was the biggest mistake of my life. And whenever I moved back here, I said I would never leave my family for another girl. Because I missed out on so much, you know? I only got to see my family one time a year. That's crazy. For you. Uh -huh. Let's see. Um, okay. You guys seem to have way more chemistry now than ever before. So odd, but hope the best for you guys. Maybe it's because we're not being as reserved and uptight as we were when we thought we were dating. When we thought we thought we were dating. No, when we were dating. Ah! When we were engaged, you know, together. <laughs> Do you notice a difference? With you, yeah. You're not as... Okay. Well, got, the you you ain't got it on lockdown. What like does you always do. this mean? <clears throat> you have to have everything a certain way. And you just got to have... 
I don't know, you, your, your OCD is insane. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you're A lot trying, of people don't understand that. You're trying to push that aside. Right. To work on our friendship. And you're not going with the, you know, freak out, screaming, yelling like the Amberlynn in the past would have. Yeah. My OCD would get really bad. Like... And I've read up on it and tried to see if it was normal. My psychiatrist would tell me it was normal. But, like, when you're OCD so bad and, like, how do I explain it? Say there was something out of order or something and there was no way for it to get fixed or, like, Becky did it wrong because, like, an OCD thing, like, you can look this all up. I know it's confusing to people who don't have OCD. Um, I would freak out. Like it, it really like something inside of me, like, I don't know how to explain it. Remember that one time we went <sighs> grocery shopping and I put everything in the trunk and everything. And there was just something sitting on top of something and Amber Lynn saw it and she's like, move that. You got to move that right now. And I'm like, nah, it's okay. I shut the trunk, got in the car. She, we were sitting in the car. She's like, how did you, can you please just go move that right now? Please. I can't stop thinking about yeah. it. And I'm like, it's not squishing it. And you're just like, I don't care. Can you please go move that? Mm -hmm. So I had to get back out of the car, open the <clears throat> trunk and move it. Yeah. It's and not it's, like I scream at her like stupid bitch. No, no. It's just like, oh my God. Like. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might have worded that wrong. You it did sound kind of crazy. I'm just saying you you do you do things and it's just like I try to tell you, Amberlyn, there's no significance to it. It's but, not gonna hurt anything. But it's like so significant to me. It feels like the end of the world. Like I don't know how to explain it. It is a form of OCD. And I've watched documentaries where people are the exact same way. And I'm just like. <sighs> okay. My nephew has um, signs of OCD. Yeah. He does, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And I was very close to someone with OCD and they acted the exact same way I do. You literally can't control it. Like. It just freaks you out. Certain things like freak you out and they have to be a certain way. And if they're not, you like, I think it's also the mixture of me having anxiety. Cause when I have anxiety, I'm already on edge. Like it's just a mixture of a lot. It's so crazy. Yeah. <sighs> L, you always sleep with your exes after breakup. Weird. I know I'm so weird, but it's not like I force them. So I guess they're weird too. There's a rogue Marissa in here. It's not me sending positive vibes. Thank you, Marissa. Y'all are beautiful. I've been a fan for six years. Thank you so much, Hope. So are you. Stunning. Look how pretty she is. Oh, yeah. Hope floats. Why does that sound so familiar? I know there's a movie. Do you, does she have a channel? I don't something? know. I don't know. Does it just sound so familiar? Can you guys say hi to my girlfriend, Irene? Hi, Irene. Hi, Irene. Me, myself, and Irene. Uh, can you say hi to my boyfriend, Dante? Hi, Hello. Dante. And my dog, Nori. Hello. Oh, Nori. What kind of dog is it? I want to know. I was scared to drive, but you like the independence once you have it. I feel like you'd probably feel proud of yourself if you get your license. Could be true. Having the independence. I bet Becky is looking forward to not having to pretend to like your nasty cooking. Uh, I would let you guys know if it was nasty. There's things that she does cook where I'm just like, that is disgusting. Explain. Your sausage stuff. Your chicken sausage and whatnot. Yes. That's Becky, nasty. Becky doesn't like chicken sausage. I don't like sausage. Unless it's maybe like breakfast sausage and you can dip it in syrup or something. But I don't like like Italian sausage, chicken sausage kill boss i don't like none of that it's gross but um where's my charger where was i going with that whole thing uh oh what wait I'm trying to get my charger because my phone's about to die but no yeah uh your cooking is good thank you for chili what no one can is going it. on don't pull too hard i got it 
Do you think that the change in scenery, well, Amber, do you think that the change in scenery, being alone in your own space, will give you the time and or drive to start a new hobby? Um, <clears throat> maybe. You've got too many hobbies already. Oh my God, I know. Your big Lego, your Mario Lego set that you've not finished. I hope that's charging. You're really good at Legos. Thank you. You well, should like I'm just kidding. join those like competitions. Oh stuff. my God, that'd be crazy. Amberlynn, I wanted to let you know your cucumber boats made it to a cheat meals ideas page on Facebook. Too funny, must be good. Well, there you go. People were just hating because it's me. They are delicious. <laughs> cucumber boat. Yeah, I did it for a mukbang. What'd you put in it? It's a cucumber with cream cheese and bacon. Those are everything you hate. She hates cream cheese. That's not everything I hate. I like bacon. I know. And I like cucumbers. <laughs> but I don't like cream cheese. Cream cheese is like <laughs> an opponent. So 33... An opponent, a component. So 33.333% of that food you do not like. Yeah. A third of it. Amber, if you could stay together, would you... Yes, I would. <sighs> yes, I would. Once again, I'm sorry for the yawning. Remember when Twinkie was shaking in pain and all y'all went instead of putting her needs above yourself? <laughs> this is the part that I've tried to explain a thousand different times. <laughs> don't, don't explain it. She was it. not shaking in pain when we left. When I first woke up, she was shaking in pain. Then she felt better. Then we left. That's the part that I think people... And when we took her to the vet over it, the vet was like, this is nothing to worry about. Some dogs, when they're getting older, will have some aches and pains like a normal human. Yes. But I would not have left Twinkie if she was still in pain like that. No, absolutely so... not. Yeah. But I felt like we didn't <clears throat> have to explain that. We've <clears throat> explained that before. Yes. And it's probably somebody who's asked that same question before. It's because people don't believe us. Nope. Of course not. And we have to keep explaining ourselves over and over and over and over and over. Where can fans message you that doesn't bother you or make you uncomfortable? I gotta go and I'm drunk and big sad sending positive vibes your way. You can message us on Instagram. Yeah. And be careful. You're drunk. Can you say hi to Olivia, best roommate ever? Kennedy Hello. said hi, Olivia, and so did we. Hi, Olivia. You would rather lose a relationship than just exercise? That's not why that's not she's what I'm breaking saying. up with. That's not why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting, ain't it? Yes. Amber, if you need a roommate, hit me up. Oh, my gosh. Greets from Germany. Take care of yourself, both of you. Yes. Thank you. Amberlynn, have you tried any new snack food lately? I've recently gotten into <gasps> rice cakes. Sorry, I just remember. <laughs> what is it? Um, it's the brand Yasso. They're mm. like, it's called mint poppables. I don't know why they called them poppables because it takes like five bites to eat one, but they're only 60 calories. Yeah, those suckers are huge. How can anybody just put that in their mouth? Yeah. Especially ice cream. The way that Amberlynn puts on that awful glare is so horrible. I just look at her. Uh. <sighs> this is such a strange situation for Becky because she'll be easily manipulated back into the relationship the longer she stays. That's, That's not, not how this is. We've already have a little bit of a plan in motion. We just don't want to talk about it. I think you guys are just really confused on the situation. And we've tried to explain it the best that we could. I think she means you not getting your food, LOL. I don't know what that means. I don't Becky, either. what do you plan on doing for income? She already has have stuff. income. Yeah. I just haven't told anybody about it. Yeah. Um, 
Amberlynn, I sent you a DM on Instagram. I support you both. I've been your supporter since day one. You've been through tough stuff, but life, life gives its toughest missions to its strongest soldiers. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Emily. Do you have an OCD specialist? No. She I should. Not. I know. That would help me a lot. Ale, do you have any real interests other than food? It's the only thing you talk about. It's boring. Becky brings me to your channel. She's interesting. Well, I'm glad she does bring you. Um, and I don't just talk about food. I feel like they sent that when I was talking about the pasta question. But the but pasta man. question was from someone else. You were answering a question. <laughs> Please say hi to my dog, Bailey. She hi, loved Bailey. Twinkie. Hi, Bailey. I love that name for a dog. I always have. Where is she reading these questions from? It's from the live stream. Ooh. I'm just a little behind. <laughs> and it's and I have no idea what's going on. Oh, well. What? No, it's okay. It's okay. I just, I've just been listening. I'm turning 24 next week and still don't have my license. Girl, you don't have to have your license. Um, Soup inspired chili, Becky. You need to eat some real chili. My chili's the fucking bomb. Her so. chili is so good. <laughs> ah, mm, that sounds so good right now. It does. Um, can you can you all please shout out Bruno for me? Hi, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. I'm so glad Becky is getting to run far away. That's not it, it says. I am absolutely impressed how well and stoic you both have handled this and truly proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's, it's, it's been rough. Um, every day is new emotions, I can tell you that much. Every day is so wonderful. Suddenly, Suddenly it's, it's hard, hard to breathe. breathe. How the re I don't know how the rest of that now goes. Men, I am insecure. Who is that? That's the good Christina, right? Imagine yes, moving is. somewhere that's healthy for both of you and working on yourselves while together and how happy you'd be. I gotta sit up. This just, is killing my arm. Just, just ain't it, sis. But thank you for the super chat. I wish it was that simple. But Becky don't want to work together. She thinks that we'd work better far away from each other. Are you trying to be British? I don't know. I just got on. Are you guys breaking up? <laughs> no, we just got married yesterday. Am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, never mind. Well, Becky, consider doing a YouTube channel so we can continue to follow her journey in life, too. I hope so. Yes, I'm wanting to make the ghost video soon. I've just been very busy. Um... Some of y'all have no chill. Y'all really do be digging and reaching at everything Amber does or says. It's it's nauseating. It needs to be. <laughs> Some of y'all have no chill. Y'all really do be digging and reaching at everything Amber does or says. It's nauseating. If you hate her that much, get the fuck out. Thank you so much. And that's coming from someone who is one of the most prettiest people I've ever seen. Look how pretty. She is. Oh, look at my fat arm. She's so beautiful. How can someone that I'm pretty be it. watching someone who has an arm as big as a freaking... Because that doesn't matter. See, you are so judgmental. I tell her all the time, I'm like, I swear, dude. No. You would be don't so go judgmental. There. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. You'd be so judgmental. Don't go there. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I don't think you would, but I don't know. You judge yourself very harshly. Yeah, Daddy Bruno here to make it rain. Okay, give me a hundred dollars. Oh, don't do it. I've never. Done. I've never oh, she's just playing. Oh my god! If we get five hundred dollars right now, we'll kiss. <laughs> we'll go. Like That's this. painful. They'll probably want us to make out. <laughs> Wait, I will. I Eric will. wants to make out with me. Yeah, you and Eric are gonna make out someday. Me and Ricky are just gonna have to. No, we're not. <laughs> They're going to have to get a divorce. You and Eric are going to get married. You guys are going to have kids. <laughs> have to take out a second mortgage. But it's all going to be all right. <laughs> okay. I just had a raven moment. I'm <laughs> Okay. Do y'all know your 
birth time. Have you looked into your birth chart? I don't know my birth time. I was born at like seven something in the morning. I do not know. You'll see how freed it is without Amber soon. Or she could see, damn, I missed that lard ass. Remember that one time you called me Crisco, babe? <laughs> but that is a really good username. Why did I say that? Because we were talking about fat girl, like, porn sites. And you said Crisco, babe. I like it. <sighs> I'm going to start me an OnlyFans, and I'm going to call myself Crisco, babe. That's a Hootenberry for sure. Becky, meet me in Montauk. I love you both and will continue to support you both. Becky, we have so much in common. Dude, it's crazy. Why are you anyway, trying to see what she looks like so no, you can get it? I was like, if at the, Here, if you want to get it. I was trying to see what comment was meet me in Montauk. Christina. Christina go meet get it. Meet you in Montauk. You got to erase me from your memory first. You know what's hard? What? I can't imagine you kissing someone else. That's like really weird. Yeah, me neither. Well, I'm going to tomorrow. I'm meeting up with someone. That's on you, boo. You can live with that whole, uh, what is that called? Bedbound? Regret. <laughs> Bedbound! Rebound! Rebound. No, you can live with that, uh, what is that called? Like, not regret, but. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I can't think of the word. I don't know how I'm gaslighting, Becky. Do you feel like I'm gaslighting you? No. How? I think they just like to use that word. I don't I've think noticed. that word means what you think it means. Yeah, that's like the new like thing now. It's really weird. So what's going on in a small nutshell? Um, We've broken up. We're best friends. And we're going to work through this together. And we're going to move out. Eventually. I am just a poor JoJo character. Pretend with this. What? I don't know. It's that Bruno person. They keep sending money, but I don't know what they're talking about. Just a poor JoJo character. Okay, are you... Are you from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Maybe. All the best to both of you. Have been watching you for a while now. Not all ends are painful. A chapter has to end for another to start. Much love. Yes. Um, I love how Amber's just throwing shade and Becky is so done. We're proud of you, Bex. That's not a thing. <laughs> What's well, not a thing? None of that. None of that? Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll both pull... <laughs> You'll both pull through. Why was that so hard to say? I don't know. You never know where life will take you both. I know. That's... I know. It's crazy. I would have never imagined this, not even a week ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I miss that lard ass. I seriously laughed out loud. <laughs> Got any bit of advice on coming out to family? I'll give you this one. Oh, man. First off, you need to look at all the angles. Who are you wanting to tell? What are their views? Where are you doing it? Who's going to be there? Damn, you're going into like... Yeah. Because I wish I had that. I wish I would have had that. Just, I'm just saying you make sure you are comfortable and confident with who you're going to tell. Mm -hmm. And if not, if you're not sure and you still want to do it, make sure you are recording or something. Because you never know when people will just... Yeah. I just had this whole anxiety wave go through me. Wow, that was scary. Is it gone? <sighs> A little. I wish an ocean wave was what was going through you. <sighs> me too. Okay, hold on. I'll be alright. That was really weird. Um, today is Canada Day. Nearly a thousand unmarked graves of murdered 
indigenous children. I'm so bad at pronouncing that. Children were found in the past month, no pride in genocide. That's that is honestly so really heartbreaking. Is there like an uh, investigation going on with that? Like, that's whenever you find a mass grave of children, especially, you know, indigenous children. That's alarming. Yeah. Amber, baby, you really need to stop with the self-hate. You really are so gorgeous. You walnut. <laughs> walnut. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, welcome to Stream Queens, Katya. Um, sorry, I'm really... Yeah, no. It just like hit me again. Like just, I told you, this is what happens. It's like I'm fine, and then it's like it happens all over. Like I don't know where they came from. I'm like, yeah, no. This is the first time I've seen this in maybe two days. No, I cried yesterday quite a few times. Where was I? You don't remember? That's hurtful. I think it's because so many people are talking about it, and we've been so freaking busy the last two days. I that, mean, like, yeah, that's that's what it is. Like, <sighs> we've just been so busy. It's hard to remember anything. Whew, you're going to grow so much. These people are so cool. If you guys can't say something nice or inspiring, don't spread your negativity. Stay positive. Thank you. Can one of y'all please Google Bruno Besalotti and tell me if I am sexy or not? Please, I'm begging you. My family disowned me today and I'm sad as fuck. <sighs> Becky is Googling. You gotta show me that last name. Okay, hold on. Is this a troll? <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell. Let me see. It's from JoJo. I don't think I've gotten that far. Oh, you haven't gotten that far. You are sexy. And I hope you aren't going to be sad anymore. But I'm confused. We already know what happened. The kids were killed at those schools for years. It's so tragic. The kids were killed at the schools? Who was killing them? Who was doing the killing? Was it the people at the school? Like, Here come the crocodile tears. She wants Becky to hug her so bad. We already have hugged. Not how it works. <laughs> Wishing you both the best. Love you, Becky. Thank you. What's something you would do differently in your next relationship? I can't even think that far ahead because I don't. I don't want to think about another relationship. Amber, I was harsh, but you might need a break now. Maybe. I know how you feel with the crying come out of nowhere. It's rough, but it does get easier. Stay strong. Thank you. <clears throat> the church slash government. Residential schools. It was a government mandated genocide. A government mandate. They were killed by a Catholic priest and nuns. Google Canadian residential schools. <clears throat> well, if they know who did it, I hope they're. Uh, Thank you, Jenny. What they deserve. You won't feel like this forever. Thank you. <clears throat> a 
advice on dealing with homophobic family members. Um, I don't have any, so you're going to have to answer that. What is it? Um, advice on dealing with homophobic family members. Don't talk to them. <laughs> I mean, okay, listen. My family, they don't agree with it. But they still love me and, you know, they welcome who I'm with with open arms. But the family members who I know has probably talked crap about me behind my back. The ones who don't invite me to things anymore or um, like my cousin who pretty much stepped on my foot at thanksgiving and didn't even say sorry or look at me or nothing and you know what snip cut them off if you have to because you should never have to not be who you are because of your family if you have to cut them off do it do it for you <clears throat> agreed Becky, Becky, <laughs> Becky, DM me anytime when you're ready to have a new girlfriend. We can watch Naruto all night long. I'm not into that. That's not a thing. No. Well, I am into Naruto, but I'm not into dating. Sorry I was harsh before. I wish you both well. Thank you. So these kids, did they have parents? Did the parents not wonder where their kids were? I don't know. It's just like so much sadness. <sighs> kids were ripped from their homes. Jeez, no way. Parents had no choice. That's. Someone said that's awful. I've never heard any of this. I heard bits and pieces. Look at them babies. Those are the ones that were killed? Probably. These are the indigenous children <laughs> at the schools. That is upsetting. The children were forcefully removed and it was seen as a privilege to let their kids come back for Christmas by those in charge at the schools. Wow. I bet that bit right there did it. Oh my God. Look at that. She's scary. The government and church corralled them into these buildings and murdered them. What? Our mothers were sterilized and fathers killed for speaking tribling. The last school closed in 1997. Um, Amberlynn, based on the poll, are you going to do more weight loss and vlogs? Yes. Becky, do you have a job lined up? She has income. She has little things going on. Um, someone said last one closed in 1996. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm just really hung up on the whole indigenous kid thing. Yeah, that's... That's heartbreaking. Why? <laughs> that's my question. Why? Evil. Have you heard about this new terrible weight loss device that's just magnets attached to your teeth to clamp your mouth shut and force you on a liquid diet? But then you can't even talk. You can't do anything. Yeah, what the heck? They might be pulling your leg. I don't know. I'm going to Google that too. <laughs> Becky, were you sick of ALR ruining all her relationships even with your close common friends? 
I'm literally good friends with all her good friends. Yeah. So I am concerned and confused with what you are thinking right now. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Amber and Becky. You have become sassier against people's harsh words. Good. They don't deserve any explanations. Clap back, girls. Thank you. I agree. Yeah, no, they weren't kidding. Weight loss product uses magnets to lock up your mouth. That's weird. If you have that much of an issue with weight and food, you don't need to be going on no uh, weight loss journey. You need to be getting some actual help. If you think it's okay for you to clamp your mouth shut. Yeah, that doesn't seem... Something seems weird with that. <laughs> that sorry I'm, I'm doing something real quick doing something real quick okay we good um sending you both peace and love thank you emily thank you emily hold on guys hold on okay anyways anyways Becky, I follow you on Insta. Tippy Monster. Thank you. Thank you for following me. Unblock Deanna and Loneliest Boy. No. Nah. Will you vlog your... Becky, will you vlog your journey from here and on out? Here on... <laughs> you know what I'm talking I mean, about. I don't know. Maybe. It's an option to do that. Especially, you know, if I'm going to have this channel... Um, I am definitely doing the ghost video, I promise. And I might have to actually split it up into a few videos, depending on how many I, stories I have. Yeah. I thought that was a bow in your hair. And really, no, it's just a stupid little hair tie. I love you both. Hoping you can be happy together as friends. I mean, that doesn't make me happy, but I hope that it will eventually. Losing weight is not as easy as just not eating. I don't know why everyone thinks it's so that it's so simple. I don't know. I really, really, truly do not know. Are you ready to get off? Hold on. I'm answering about um, someone's getting buying a book. What book is it? That one. Are you having them meet us at? Mm -mm. Oh, really? I think I'm just gonna go to her. She's older. When? I don't know yet. Tell her we have more for sale if she wants us to take a picture of them all. Okay. Which book was it? Oh my god. Oh, really? sorry. How did I know it was Danielle still? How did I know? When you said older, I knew it. I knew it. Um, but yeah. Hi guys. I think we're gonna get off. Because <laughs> Nicole said, wait, I'm having fun. Maybe next live stream we can actually have fun and do like trivia and stuff. Me yeah, we'll do that for you. Been on a huge uh, hangman. <gasps> do you want to do one hangman round on here? Yeah, we can do it. It's either we get off or we do a hangman round. What do you guys want? I love you both. Sending love and kisses and hugs. Thank you, Hope. Wait. Well, we would have to do a whole round. A hangman. Wait, no. For Don't. me and a hangman for you. Yeah, but what if that takes a long time? We'll, we'll make it quick. They say hangman. All right. Okay. <laughs> we always do this. You go first. See if we even have it. <laughs> oh. Where, where's the marker? Where is the one? This is from last night. Where is it? 
The one with the lid? I mean, the obviously. Eraser. The eraser. I don't know why, but we just... It's not, you know, riveting for you guys, but it's fun for us. I come up with randoms, let me tell you. Maybe you guys can help me out. <laughs> Hangman boo, please. Love you lots. Love you and thank you for the super chat. So I'm selling stuff on Instagram. By the way, I forgot we got we forgot to say all this random stuff. Um I am selling stuff on Instagram and I sold two books. The shipping for the two books, one book was $11 to ship. The other book was $11 to ship. Please tell me how. Please tell me how. So I was going to sell this book, right? This was $10.99 when I bought it. So I paid less for this book than it would cost me to ship. So I can't even sell this book to anyone and ship it because I wouldn't even make money. I'd be losing money. It's like not even, it's not even worth it. It's so weird. And I'm just like, what the fuck? But then like a book like this, where I paid $17, I could sell it for like 13 and make $2. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's just so weird. Uh, Okay, are we ready? All right. Okay. Oh shit. No, nobody yell out answers whenever the letters start. Stop yell out. Up. A. I always start with A. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, these books are falling. I'm about to kick someone's nose. Put it in the wrong spot. Riveting content. Okay. <laughs> Everyone leaves. E. Do all the vowels. <laughs> no, remember, we can't do those. We made that rule. Okay. You can't be doing that. Okay, so pick another letter. T. I like to do all the vowels first. Okay, now I can do E. <laughs> wow, this is so fun. <laughs> okay. Like, if we were doing this for a vlog, I would edit out all the, like, you know. Oh. No, I'm joking. N. D. I know there's a D right there. Do you know this? No, I just know that there's a D right there. Um, you forgot to. Oh, you have not been erasing my letters. Yeah, I know. Okay, wait. Let me catch up. Mm. D and E and T. Amber, go to the United States Post Office. The USPS has boxes there for free in different sizes that set shipping prices cheaper than what you're paying. Do they have that? Where? At the oh. USPS, they have boxes that are already set shipping prices. Yeah. Becky, what are the prices? I don't know. Are you wearing pants in these lives? I want proof. Okay. <laughs> They're going to say it's your underwear. That is not my underwear. You're going to show them your actual. People are psycho, bro. T look. These are pants. And no, I do not match. Okay. Welcome, Dana, to the stream queens. If it fits, it ships. Okay, hold on. Let's do a little bit of a O. Oh. Wait, you can't because the last one you did was an E. Oh, okay. R. Did you tell that girl we have more books? Yeah. 
She probably only wants the old people books. <laughs> um, dang, I've gotten them all so far. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Okay. Oh. Okay. Deodorant. No, that's not. <laughs> Forgot to mark off though. Um, and the R. Why are you being weird tonight? I don't know. I think I'm distracted. L. I need to wear makeup more. I just hate how I look. I'm so gross. Hold on. Stop. Collaborate. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Ding, it, ding, ding. Am I right? I got it. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Good job. I should have added Ice is back with a brand new invention. That made it a little bit harder, right? I'm just going to use this. No, I have an eraser. No, you're erasing everything. Becky! Yes. It has oh. to be erased, you dingle. <laughs> no, you don't. You didn't have to erase it. Becky, that that's not part. how you still collaborate. <laughs> I don't care right now. I still got it, though. Y'all think everyone is crazy? Wait until you meet me, Scarlett said. I probably missed an L in there, didn't I? Scarlet really wants you. That's not Scarlet. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's not Scarlet. Oh. I haven't talked to this person since Christian school days. Ew, this makes it all for Monday cheese. That's better than using your blanket. Nah, I'm gonna wash it anyway. What? Okay, let me think of something. Um, you can't take too long. Why? Because. Man, I think I'm starting to get a headache because I'm hungry. Oh, what did shit. I have today? Cereal? Right. I had Brazen Brand earlier right. today. All right, let's hurry. Um. Oh, I had one last night that I was going to do. Oh, no. That sounded like something. Did it? Uh, um. Shit. Shit. Yes. What'd she say? She said, are there other books on Marketplace? Yes, but also tell her there might be more. I have these over here. Tell her we can just send her pictures. Okay, sorry. Um, how about you guys help me? <sighs> what should I do for Hangman? Um, I got it. I got it. I got it. I do it differently than Becky does, but yeah, it's cool. All right, ready? We're gonna go with T. T? Yeah. All right. Wow. Which one? Seeing if there's any more messages. Um. In. D. 
Well, there's the first one. No. A. No. Or. M. No. For real? I. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know how they think they're funny either. See. Oh look, damn. <laughs> That's funny. H. Nope. You only have two tries. For the, real man? The arms. Jeez, what could that word oh. be, man? <laughs> okay. B. You only have one thing left. Okay. O. O? Forgot to spell for a minute. I'm trying to not be cheating like you. And pick all vowels up front. <laughs> S. You lost. It's going to be something stupid. <laughs> like yellow picture frame. Like the other night. Come on, let's see what it is. Don't look. It's a secret. Oh. You lint licker. <laughs> wow. Why do I keep doing that thing with the side of my mouth? You lint licker. It's a commercial. That. If you guys have never, if you guys have never heard of does, that commercial. Does anybody remember the creditreport.com songs? Oh, man. That was such a big hit at our school. Our teachers were just like, shut up. Good times. Someone just said I ain't looking much anymore. Me neither. <laughs> hey, Becky, who is Elizabeth and why did you delete her dedicated playlist for her? I explained that earlier and I don't think I did delete it. All right. It was called Stuffs for Elizabeth and it was about my story no dana what about i wish what'd she say if we'd be back together is that dana robbins no dana carvey no dana from Elward. yeah you're doing that thing with that dane idea. cook you're going like this you don't like my eyes west. I know. It's all right. Pat the head. It's okay, doggy. It's okay. All right. It's time to go. It is time to go. Peace out. You can't even wear it because you're bun. Just kidding. We're still together. I'm just kidding. We're not. We're not. <laughs> that would be one hell of a joke. We're not. For us to carry it on that long? Jeez. Sometimes I wake up wishing that it was just a nightmare. 
I think that way over many things. How did you tell your friends about your breakup? We just literally straight up told them. And I do Marco Polo. And so <laughs> my whole breakdown, like <sighs> screaming. Okay, not screaming. I was trying to exaggerate. But tears, sobbing galore is all on there of the whole thing. <laughs> because I was talking to my friend. I needed someone to talk to. <laughs> Who was it? I don't know. What friend? Well, why wouldn't you say that? I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> you got an issue? No. I just don't know why you wouldn't say that. Anyways. Anyways, yeah. We're gonna go because we have things to do. Sigh. But this definitely helped keep my mind preoccupied for a bit. Uh, so thank you guys. And I mean, it's going to be later because we're gonna play Mario Party. You want to play Mario Party? Yeah, we're going to play Mario Party. Yeah, we're going to play Mario Party. We're going to be playing Mario Party this weekend, too, with Eric. I'm going to be breaking. Yeah. Anyways. Bye, you guys. We'll see you. I might have a video on the weekend. I don't know. But 